Hey, get your checklists ready, because the Splatoon 3 Direct is kind of right around the corner. Let's see if I can make a wish list that's sensible and doesn't age like milk. This won't be an all-inclusive list of what I'm looking for in Splatoon 3, but instead what I think could be announced tomorrow. I'm gonna start with one that's probably quite controversial. <laughs> can we have Clamblet's return? Please? I know that there are very mixed opinions about Clamblitz, but I think that if Nintendo takes another go at fixing it a little bit, then it could be really good. I like things like how you can't just, like, super jump back to your base and keep your clams. It keeps the game fair. I think Clamblitz is one of the most enjoyable modes to watch, so I'd really like to see it come back instead of just being replaced with something else that could be questionable, like the, uh, that old 8-ball mode. <laughs> I do think we'll see at least one new map tomorrow, and I'd really like that map to be Bluefin Depot, simply because Bluefin Depot is already split into two halves. It's it's right there. It's, it's set up and ready to go. <laughs> also, the original way that Bluefin Depot was set up, the Rainmaker Podium was like super close to the base, which I think would still work in Splatoon 3, especially if we're not actually spawning down at the bottom. And speaking of the spawning things, I wonder how much information we're gonna get about how spawning in works in Splatoon 3 tomorrow. I think it'd be good if they started off by explaining that early when they're in the middle of talking about Turf War. Usually in these directs, they go over all like the stuff like, hey, we got a Turf War, hey, we got a ranked mode, hey, we got weapons here, which is fine. But while they're explaining Turf War, or if they want to, they could wait until ranked, we need to know how the new respawning mechanic works so we can be prepared for it. Otherwise, I guess we'll probably do that when we get our inevitable test fire. Woo! I really can't see us not having a test fire. I believe that a test fire will help the game to grow. It'll be a good way to see if the servers have been changed in any way for 3, as some people's largest complaint with Splatoon 2 was that there was a little bit too much latency when using certain weapons. Like when you open up Umbrella Shield, and then, nope, the game doesn't think you opened up Umbrella Shield, so now you die. <laughs> If things like this are addressed, it will give people even more confidence in the game that they're getting. Although honestly, I'm buying the game whether they change a lot or they change like basically nothing, so that's not a me problem. <laughs> but I know that is a significant problem to some people, which is very understandable. But back to gameplay here, I think that we'll see a new special, but I don't think it's gonna be an actual new special. I think it's gonna be an old special. I think we'll see Bomb Launcher come back. And I'm pretty confident about that, seeing as we had Bomb Rush in Splatoon 1, Bomb Launcher in Splatoon 2, and Bomb Launcher was never really broken, but never really, like, bad either, you know? It's always good for pushing opponents around. It's always good for being able to get a lot of paint at the last second on a splat zone. I feel like it still fits. And it would be fun to have if you don't want to be chucking around ink strikes or blasting off a giant bazooka. Sometimes you just need the quick experience of just having a whole lot of bombs. I feel like Splatoon 3 won't feel the same if I can't randomly die to a bomb rush that I'm not expecting. <laughs> and speaking of bombs, cool, can we have auto bomb back, please? I really don't know if we'll get auto bomb back. I understand <sighs> that auto bomb is a little loud and a little not too killy, so maybe they'll just try out some new bomb, just like they phased out Seeker <laughs> from Splatoon 1. But I could still believe in my son coming home. But yeah, I know that you're excited for Splatoon 3's Direct, and I am too. Let me know your most wanted features or what you want to see in the Direct. Those might be different things, after all. There's so much here in this video that I didn't even cover, because I don't want to go too deep on a video that may not be as deep as you think it'll be. Remember that this Direct will likely be aimed in part at players who have not played Splatoon 1 or Splatoon 2, so expect Nintendo to spend time explaining how Turf War works, etc. No matter what though, we'll walk away from this Direct knowing more about Splatoon 3 than we knew before. So that's a win. We win here, Splatoon community. Yeah!